It is June seventeenth, twenty twenty one. Holy shit! My brain just completely farted because of Craig actually joined the channel. Uh, June June seventeenth, twenty twenty one. This is Loose Screws. I am Ty Worsham, Commander Tierable. First, I want to say that my Corvette after patch four today is still ugly. I went through the paints again before uh, we went live with the show. The ship is still ugly. It still has the ugly Core Dynamics logo on the front. FDev, fix my vet. For the love of God, fix my vet. With me this evening is I have a crew. I have everybody but the tracks. The tracks is on vacation. He's like, I think he's on a lake somewhere, isn't he? Yeah, somewhere in a, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, sleeping under a tree. Yeah. Like that in a tree. So I'm going to go down the list here in no particular order except for alphabetical because that's how it appears on the Discord. If I don't do that, I will forget. Uh, Commander Chig has returned from his mini hiatus of i can only assume he's been playing seven days to die or something i don't know i've was been it? playing seven days to die i've played very very little elite i took i didn't log on for eight days and there's you know kind of i didn't come on the show last week because i didn't want to be a mountain assault for everybody but this week well you're all fucked because i'm going to say whatever the hell i want so <laughs> uh, oh. uh, other than that yeah I, I my second verbal stick showed up so i'm learning how to fly a uh, dual stick but the fact that they you know screwed up cqc also you know it's not like i can get cqc matches to play so um yeah uh that's that's all that's new with me mm. good stuff good stuff yeah uh because of you i've now ordered another verbal stick as well so Stop following my lead. <laughs> Hashtag blame Chig. I know. Well, well, it is what it is, I guess. Dubs, how's it going this evening, man? Oh, it's going. If y'all aren't careful, I'm going to buy another verbal stick, too. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, like, like Chig, I've just been playing a lot of Seven Days to Die and a little bit of Elite. <clears throat> more than Chig has. Yeah. Man, I, I've, I'm actually using my old X56 stick on my left hand right now so i can kind of start muscle memory training with it you know and i like it so much i can't wait till i get a good stick over there so i can't even fathom trying to use an x56 with your left hand how uh, yeah yeah it just it, weird it's that so sounds very unfortunate it, i would it, not even attempt it it bites into like my hand i got little crease marks and stuff and i, I developed a little callus I, I, it was sad. It was sad. You, you've played enough to develop a callus. That's impressive. Yeah. Well, I, you know. I, Look I've, at I've you had... enjoying Elite. Damn. Uh, uh, oh. Not in VR. <laughs> not in VR. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> uh, Data, how you doing this evening, man? I'm good. <clears throat> when Dubs joked about getting a third joystick, it reminded me of that great gag from one of the uh, Naked Gun movies. Where the the lady star goes to slap um, Leslie Nielsen, yeah. and he catches both hands, and then a third hand comes up out of nowhere and slaps him. <laughs> He's like, wow, you're a old. old on his face. <laughs> I'm good. Chicks <laughs> calling people old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey now. Uh, I've still been having fun in Odyssey. The big news for me this week is I'm enjoying a. LaCroix. LaCroix? We're, we're at LaCroix house now. A what? A sparkling water drink. Okay. Yeah. Penalty box Things just went weird. Yeah. 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 You can, <laughs> anyone can fight me if they want to. Well, while this you're is, enjoying LaCroix, I just bought two cases of Baja Blast. So. Ooh, you can't go wrong there either. <laughs> so Odyssey has driven new... you guys to drink weird <laughs> shit. All right, guys. <laughs> they, they have oh a new pineapple God. coconut Baja freaking oh. blast too. That's just kind of <laughs> nice. Weird, but... That's like a pina colada Baja blast. I don't okay. know. All right. Cool. I, just went to, I just went to LaCroixWater.com. There is the most hippie couple on the cover of this website yeah, and it's, this dude does not want to be there <laughs> it's 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 naturally it's not sweetened it's essenced 
<laughs> Gross. This tonight's yeah. episode brought to you by the Croy mm. Beverage Inc. I will okay. delete this recording. <laughs> okay. Every person in this picture right here, all of the girls genuinely look happy drinking LaCroix. Every guy in this picture looks miserable. Every it's single kinda, one was like, I sure wish this was a beer. <laughs> it's kind of like it's been described as like drinking static. And that's that's pretty much true, but you get used to it. <laughs> Sign me up. Jesus, yeah. what is wrong with There's you? There's a great endorsement. If you endorsement don't enjoy it, it the first time, why would you keep going <laughs> until you can put up with it? You got to watch your added sugars, man. That's, that's, that is a, a ringing endorsement. You'll get used to it. That's there's a joke about your great. wife in there somewhere. <sighs> okay. Well, before we get Data divorced here, we'll move forward. <laughs> <laughs> Nurgle, how's it going, man? I don't know how I follow that. <laughs> you enjoying a Coke or a Diet uh, Coke? Actually, I'm enjoying a whiskey on the rocks. Oh. Oh. I got a yeah, see, I, I got a Mountain Dew Zero in my hand, Ooh. and it's delicious. I love it. Yeah, I, I have been told that's pretty good. I have not mm-hmm. had it. I don't even know you people. Good Blasphemy, God. all of it. I, I know. It's so weird. What is Look, happening? If, if, it's soda. You're not supposed to be healthy. Enjoy yourself, damn it. I yeah. am. <laughs> I'm that happy with my, with my drink choice. I'm and not as happy as the guy in this LaCroix website. But... <laughs> <laughs> so wow. far this afternoon, I am on my ninth crash to destiny. So, oh, you're gonna say your ninth whiskey. Dev. I thought you were going to say your ninth whiskey. And I said, oh, man, you're having a good day. Look. I've been well, playing no, for like it, four hours now with zero crashes. It's it's the crash to desktops that make me drink whiskey. See, you <laughs> probably don't have your RAM set to the right colors. <laughs> that again. This again. Knew that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> knew that was coming. Okay. Two weeks ago during the show, I hopped on uh, Apex Taxis and started hopping around looking for, you know, grade three suits, blah, blah, blah. Ended up at this one system where Orange Sidewinder. You know, log back in and you're back in the taxi and it was a five, six minute ride back to the station I was going to Orange Sidewinder again. I know that all I'd have to do is log into Horizons, but I was refusing to do it. I'm like, I want to play Odyssey. I paid for Odyssey. Let's see what I can do. I did everything, rebooting the game, verifying files, you know, everything. I I Orange Sidewinder 31 times just to prove a point before I find I'm like, I can't do but, it anymore. But, so I know crashes. We figured out what the problem was though. It I was didn't have my, planet. Our, my, my Ram wasn't set to orange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that planet was actually legitimately borked. I flew down yep. to it in my ship and like the planet did not exist. Like the settlements were just hovering and you would just go under. I mean, I, there was no planet. You would hit the surface and there was nothing there. Yeah, so logging into Horizons, logging back in, then trying to fly to that planet again still would crash. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it was just a wonderful, oh. wonderful, wonderful you know uh, Odyssey experience. Hey, can I ask a question? Like before we kind of go forward, um, Nurgle, have you played since the patch today? Uh, I am still on my self-imposed, not touching Odyssey until at least July first. Okay, okay, uh, I'm I'm. I'm kind of curious. Uh, so I haven't had any crash of desktops uh, aside from a really strange one, which actually could have been a power. Like we lost power and my battery backup kicked on and then we got power back. Like it was just off for just a couple seconds it, and then it crashed the desktop right then. But otherwise it was working fine. So I'm not entirely sure the two weren't related somehow. And you you know, for the past week or so, I think I've had one crash to desktop. In the past week, I've had nine today since oh, wow. the patch. And I'm in Horizon because I'm not touching Odyssey. So they tweaked they, something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm loving it. Loving it. Living the well, dream. Let me ask you this. Does, do the vets look better in uh, Horizon? Yeah, they still look great in Horizon. No. Come on in. Uh, the water's fine. No, I you've moved on to the better ship. The the crate Phantom is much oh. better. I'm loving that ship so much. I feel I feel so dirty every time I fly it. <laughs> no, uh, it's fast. So, um, kind of give everybody an idea for this show. We're going to talk about the VR news, the patch and stuff, and um, 
we're going to go into kind of what we want to see from FDev at this point. Um, because I, you know, I'm, I'm going to throw some, I'm going to throw a fair amount of shade their way at this point, because what's happened with VR and some of the other things there have really guinea pigs going crazy. have really, um, started driving me crazy. So really, have really, what's the right word? Have really irritated the shit out of me and make me want to quit playing this game because of the way they're treating their community. Um, but we'll go into that in a little bit here. And, and you want to be clear that it's it's not the community managers, it's not the game designers, it's the developer itself, the guys, mm-hmm. the pencil pushers that you know decided this game had to come out in the state that it's in and the decisions that they're making. So throwing shade at anybody, especially like Arf, who decided to become, you know, a super, he's always been a straight shooter, but, you know, like people joke about a drinking game every time he says he's he's being perfectly honest. You know, I'm just going to tell the truth here. You know, he's been saying that a lot and he's been, you know, saying a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm not upset with him at all. He's got a job to do and he can only really do what he's told and reveal what he's, you know, kind of allowed to tell him. Maybe he's telling us stuff that he's not supposed to. And I, I, I appreciate the honesty, but there's a time and a place for it. And when people are already this upset, dropping bad news bomb after bad news bomb, just <laughs> maybe not the best time. Well, and, and, and I, I kind of have a bigger disclaimer I'll go into in a minute. And I don't want to say it's a disclaimer. It's just I want to make sure we're I want to make sure we are throwing shade at the right people. Uh, when we actually get there, um, but we'll we'll get to that in a minute. Um, Nurgle, you want to hit us with a squad update, Bubba? Sure. So, only two real things going on right now. We're pushing comma to expansion. Uh, I checked just a second ago; the update has gone through. We're up to about sixty percent, so we're getting pretty close there, and um, we're fighting yet another election with mysterious fed factions in uh, v640 cassiopeia we're three and oh tonight is the chance to make that four and oh and finish it so we can get back to dealing with comma and getting that where it needs to be and that's that's really all that's going on on the uh the faction side right now. cool good job in v640 finish it out yes finish strong i'm actually running <laughs> missions for that right now <laughs> I don't get how the hell you people do a podcast and oh, we lost. Who we lose? We lose somebody. It actually uh, wasn't Craig. Lost Nurgle. Yeah, lost Nurgle. He gave Squadron update and he ran away. <laughs> yeah, deuces. <laughs> we lost back. you. He's back. Okay, cool. <laughs> and there was crash to desktop number ten. <laughs> Yay! Oh, wow. That was that was awesome. Take your Discord with it. That's impressive. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it hung Discord for a second. Weren't, weren't you having issues before all these, before Odyssey launched? Did you get that fixed before? Oh yeah, yeah. That was a that was months ago. That was a bad power supply, and that fixed and doing fine. Have you? Do you have any? Is when you replace power supply? Did you replace? We'll be back. Did you? Do you have a modular power power supply? Uh, yes. When you replace power supply, did you replace the power cables, or did you yes. just replace power supply? Cables too. Okay. Uh, for for those that don't know, sometimes uh, the a problem with power supply won't necessarily be a problem with the power supply. It is actually a problem with the cable, and this tends to show up mostly in modular power supplies. Um, hmm. I don't quite know why that is, but uh, it's a good rule of thumb whenever you have to swap out your power supply to swap out especially modular power supply, swap out the uh, cables as well. Because for a while there, uh, I was actually swapping out just the power supply and leaving the cables because that makes it super easy. Um, but I was actually reintroducing the problem. And it, I, I was trying to figure out there for, I don't know, three or four months while I was going through so many power supplies. And truth find out, uh, the problem was actually something to do with the connection or with the seating of the cable going into the modular side of the power supply, like where the Molux connector actually connects. Uh, it actually can cause a short there and the power supply is actually fine. And when you unplug okay. it, and plug it back in, it'll work, you know, but the problem will eventually creep back up. Right. 
So, and I um, was actually concerned there for a while that I may have had motherboard and or memory damage resulting from a bad power supply, but changing the power supply eliminated 99.9% of all issues. So. Yeah. But yeah, if um, you just good rule of thumb is anytime you change the power supply with a modular one, go ahead and swap out the cables. It also goes for if you have any extension cables in there or if you need the uh, custom sleeve cables for like uh, the pretty cables, you know, if you ever have to swap out a power supply, it's it's worth your money to go ahead and swap swap those out, swap out the sleeve cables too. Now, if you're just swapping out power supplies because you just want a, a heavier one or, or a higher wattage one and there's nothing wrong with it, you're fine to leave the cables. But if you have a problem, a short or something, go ahead and swap them out just to be safe. Good advice. So, Anyway, that's uh, that's Ty's tech advice for the week. <laughs> Weird timing. Uh, who, Data, were you going to do the Galnet recap for the week? Buddy? Oh yeah, yeah, we got we got this unlocked this week. So for this week's Galnet, a couple of things, a couple of articles released. ACT continues to hunt NMLA terrorists. So even though they haven't captured any, the ACT has still really got a hard on for the New Mexico Library Association. For some reason, I don't know why they <laughs> keep going after them. Nogles' mustache looks amazing. <laughs> Bingo. That's it. An article of theorizing that. Serious Corporation is on their way to becoming a fourth superpower, which, oh my, that set off all the tin <laughs> hats in our, our – they were making a lot of noise. I could hear them down in the basement. They were all rattling <laughs> around, bouncing off the walls down there. Uh, Jay Baron and Lark Shadow and all these weirdos. That got quite a reaction. Yeah, yeah. We love you guys. Keep it up. Keep up the tin hattery. It's fun. Uh, and there's a movement in the alliance to go to a direct popular vote. They think the electoral college doesn't represent the will of the people because Mahone won again. So the losers are sad and they want things to change. And finally, there's a CG that popped up with the Sirius Corporation. If you deliver... Certain mats to to Ashby City Station. Eventually, that uh, double-engineered detailed service scanner will be available for purchase, like they've done with some of the other special-engineered modules. Yeah, and, and to be clear, the CG, there is no direct reward for the CG. It's just if we meet the goal, then they'll make the module available for purchase. So can I ask? Because I'm, I'm, I was out of the loop. What is a double engineered module? They, it started uh, late last year. With it was a reward for a couple of CGs, where they would essentially apply. Like uh, the first, I think was it was it an FSD was the first yeah. reward. I can't remember. Yeah. It was one of them. They they you you would be awarded an FS size five FSD with long range. And lightweight applied to it. Yeah, fast, fast boot, not lightweight. Boot, the FSD. Yeah, the first, yeah. the first one was actually a missile rack with two effects. Yes. on it. And then it was the FSD after that. Okay. Like with the with the FSD, that got you higher than what you could get engineered to grade five. Yeah, to range. get the highest jump ship possible, you need that FSD. Gotcha. So this uh, surface scanner that you can get is it. Like how how is it engineered? I guess probe, probe radius. Probe it's got radius. double. Yeah, it's got ex, super extended probe radius. And I forget the second. It's lightweight or something like that. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you can do like a planet that needs six and like two probes. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's, yeah, yeah it's nice. It's really nice. It is. Yeah, yeah. Noticeably better than a normal scanner. That's how my scanner is on my vet. You know, before I had to park it because it's ugly. 
Okay, I've, I've got a I've got a jar here, and every time you mention a Corvette, you got to put five dollars into it. <laughs> Can I put a jar here too? <laughs> yeah. okay. All right. So so you put five dollars in for me, and uh, I'll send you a check. You Venmo, Venmo me five dollars. Yeah. I'll, I'll send you an invoice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I have God, a question. You don't want to what, kill anybody. What the hell is Venmo? Uh, a quick, easy way to transfer money. Good God, you're old. <laughs> okay so 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 I'm, all right so um i kind of helped this guy with his computer i don't know a few weeks back and uh so i, I did a little work for him and he says hey uh would you mind and i he has he was insisting on paying me something for it and i was like all right well you know give me 50 bucks and he says all right what kind of venmo it to you yeah. I said, what the hell is Venmo? And What'd you call oh. me? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> and I said, what the hell is Venmo? And he says, he says oh, it's like a way I can transfer money over, over my phone. And I was like, I don't want to mess with that. Uh, just just bring me $50 cash. It's super easy, Ty. There's no reason not to use it. It's well, then he started convenient. getting irritated that I wouldn't let him Venmo it. It became this great big thing. And I was just like, look, just don't give me money. I, I don't care anymore. I don't, I don't even care about it. I don't even have a business anymore with it. So I don't even care. But. You're making a big deal about Venmo. I don't even know what the hell that is. And I didn't even Google it because I didn't care enough to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kids with your PayPal? <laughs> when, when you don't even care enough to Google. <laughs> Amen. All right. So, um, is that all we got for the gals net? That covers every single thing that happened in the game this past week, everywhere. Yep. Was the salvation everything. part of last week's? Uh, yep, that was last week's. Okay. Yeah, I had to be. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I yeah, because that was... Yeah, you talked about it. Did I? Yeah. Look, man, I'm not that smart. I yeah. don't remember. <laughs> so good. We get it. Yeah, you did the things. Don't go back and listen or check, verify anything. Just trust us. All right, so um, Drew Wagar uh, released a oh what are we gonna, I'm going to mention this, yeah. What are we going to call this? A song? Is this a song? Is this a rap? A par- little parody. Parody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, parody. That's yeah. a good word. Released a little parody here. Um, Not to be mistaken with good parody. Yeah, it was. It was interestingly well put together. Uh, brutal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A for effort. It's it's the song from Portal at the end. Gladys. Yeah. That, that, that was a, that was a tune it was set to, and he sings this whole song about the glories of Odyssey. Um. Uh. And it's yeah, him singing. He, it's Drew singing. It's awesome. It's him singing yep. it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. A A for effort, dude. Yeah. Oh, absolutely worthy. It's uh. It 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 kind of sums up. Is he ragging uh, on all the problems? Things. Yes. Uh, he talks about the lore stuff. He talks about VR. He talks about them retconning a few things. He fought, he talks about uh, <laughs> he talks about everything that I kind of feel like. Yeah. He he kind of mentions the Armstrong moment. And kind of makes fun of that a little bit. It's it's a little rough. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, at the very end, he says something like, "We like good frame rates, but we still play the game." Yeah. <laughs> It's, um, it's um, it, it's it's like a good way to kind of sum it up where we all kind of feel right now, or at least where I and a lot of others feel right now. Uh, last week I was very positive about this game. I was in a very good place, so I was like, you know what? There's problems, but they're gonna fix them. They're on the right path. Yada yada yada. Just got to be patient. <laughs> and then this week happened, and we'll talk about this week. Um. Is that is there anything else we need to talk about before we get into the into the bad stuff? Is there anything else that y'all can think of? I can't. Uh, uh, okay. Any good stuff? Um, okay, I got nothing. All right. So um, before we begin with all this, uh, I don't know if if anybody at Frontier listens to the show. I know at one point they did listen to the show, um, but I have pretty good suspicion they don't listen to it anymore that's fine um i think it was benedetti that was listening to our show and maybe arf does i don't know um 
So let me I, start I, us. I, I'd, I'd guess Zach would more likely listen to us than Arf. Okay. Okay. If I were uh, to guess. Yeah, I, I I don't know Zach. So I think he came along when I was when I was on hiatus. So. Yes. Um. So. Let me start off by saying that ARF, Zach, and any other community manager that I can't think of right now, um, we're not talking about you. Because you guys honestly have been a voice for us as the community, um, but it kind of feels like you guys are saying the right things, but you're talking to a brick wall. Oh shit, GRC just got disconnected. Uh oh. Come on, Craig. Oh, Craig's still with uh, us. Call time out and bring GRC back. Actually, you'll have to save it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 838. We dislike, or we, uh, don't trust Craig that much. <laughs> we don't. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me figure out how to do this. Are you going to have to save it? Send it to track that link. Yeah, send him two links. And hopefully, our sound guy asking him on vacation to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got to cut out this gibberish in the middle of the show. Put these two together. I know. Or just copy. leave it in there. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I think we might just push press forward here because. Oh, Nurgle crashed the desktop. I think we just might push forward here because. And I mean, hoping that Craig hold. All right. This may I be mean, another lost it, episode. That's fine because this episode, it, it all might, it is, it's going to be sour. So if it ends up. It might dying, need to be a lost episode at this point, yeah. you know? <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking about it. So, um, all right. So, I'm. We are not attacking the community managers in any shape, form, or fashion. We're very happy with you guys because you guys. We have problems. You guys go to the developers. You guys are a good bridge to the developers into the higher ups. The problem is, I don't think the higher ups are listening to you. Not the developers. And, um, and some. And some of this is. <laughs> Like kind of, if you think of the old way of not communicating and giving non-answers, as opposed to now, this this turnaround and change where we're actually getting an answer, whether it's a yes or a no, it's kind of like pulling off the Band-Aid. It's like these these things that have probably been known in FDEV for a while yep. are like just now starting to be somewhat communicated yep. to us. Um, we also like the graphic artists, the 3d artists, the audio department, um, the, any artist, any programmer that worked on an odyssey, um, the people who made the new graphics engine, the lighting engine, I'm happy with you guys. You guys did good work. I wish it was optimized a little bit better, but I feel like that that's that that will come like um, I am I and I don't think anybody here would would actually attack or feel very negative things toward any any of you guys, because overall, I feel like you guys did a good job. Uh, do I want it to be optimized and run a little better? Of course, but I also feel like that. uh it's something new and it will take some time, but it will happen. Uh, that's kind of how I look at it. Um, so the people I'm want to talk to, the people I have problems with in Elite right now are the people who are making decisions for the game as a whole. And this week they said, we're, we're done with developing VR. We're not going to do it anymore. Um, or we have no plans for it. No plans uh, to introduce it to the on foot, right? Portion no of plans, Odyssey, right. but still, st still try to make it perform better. Otherwise, 
Yeah. Uh, they also specifically mentioned a few bug fixes they had coming for it, which may or may not be in the patch four. I don't know. Um, this was this was kind of a crestfallen thing for me. Um, because when when they first announced Odyssey, it took about a two or three months for us to get an answer about how if VR was going to be supported. At first they said VR won't be supported at launch. And then we said, hey, that sucks. We want it. And then they kind of reneged on that and said, okay, it'll be supported, but here's how it'll work. When you're in the ship, it'll be VR. When you're out, you'll have a 2D screen. And then eventually we'll work on it later. Okay. And we just kind of accepted that as a community and said, okay, we're good with that. And they said that they said then that they'll work on it in the future. And like, I'm not going to read between the lines on, on this statement because like we do a lot of picking apart of how they say this or how they said that I mean, they're not working on VR anymore. They're not. And from someone who primarily, I would say, well, not Odyssey, but since I've played the game, I play the game in VR roughly 60, 70% of the time. Uh, since Odyssey, I haven't played in VR but once, and it was a trash fire. Uh, I have a 2080 Ti video card. I have 32 gigs of RAM. I have an Intel 10700K. Uh, all of this is on a, a 970 Pro or 980 Pro uh, SSD or an NVMe drive, and it ran like garbage. I was getting, no joke, like 12, 15 frames in VR. Uh, shit was just flashing. Like I'm in my ship and like one side, it, it looked like they weren't, it looked like the two screens weren't syncing up is what it looked like. It felt like it was dog shit. Um, I got a Rift S and uh, yeah, it's bad. Um, so for them to say, we're going to fix some bugs, but we're not going to develop no more. It makes me feel like, what are they? What what is their vision of this game? That's what I want to know at this point. Because they announced Odyssey and they said, well, we're not going to do ship interiors, we're not going to do VR, we're not going to do this, we're not going to do that. Well, this right here won't be included. Be able to do EVAs won't be included. Okay, what is your vision of this game at this point? Because what was in the uh, uh, David Braben uh, uh, early release 90-minute video thing where he was talking about what he considers to be what his vision of Elite was and how he wants us to be able to get out of our ship and do repairs and be able to walk around our ships and stuff? Guys, we're seven years in, eight years in, whatever it is. We don't have that. This was the walking around patch. We don't have that. Where is this stuff coming? Is are they still planning on doing this? I I need I need a roadmap from FDev to continue supporting this game. I need a roadmap from FDev and them to say we're planning to have this done roughly this date, roughly this day. I don't need actual dates, but I need a timeline. And the reason why is because they have consistently let me down. As and it is, let's, let's go back to the comments that were introduced and the art of the uh, assets existed in the game files for a while. Never got them. Uh, ice planets. Where the hell are these ice planets? Where are these screenshots on the Steam Odyssey Steam webpage? Right now, you can go to the Odyssey Steam webpage, the store page. You can go there and you will see screenshot. Where is it? I'm looking at it right now. Screen, uh, screenshot number two is an ice planet. Where is this? Where is this at? What planet is this on? Where they where they are do where this, it looks like this? Because I haven't seen it. Tell me where this is, FDev. Because I don't think it exists. Okay, my ordering was a little off. It's actually screenshot number. It's got is the one with the SRV on it. Is like the second to last. 
fourth to last. Okay. <laughs> Counting's hard. It's in yeah, there. I know. I know. <laughs> it's, it's screenshot number 14 of 17. You see the SRV on there, and there's these beautiful mountains in the distance, and you see these blue haze in the distance. You see the tracks of the SRV. It looks like you're driving through snow. Where is this at? Show me the planet. I haven't seen a single screenshot, video, or anything that looks like this. Where is this at? This is what I expected and haven't seen yet. Um, so we were promised ice planets at a LaveCon. I want to say it was LaveCon 2 or 3, like 2017 or so, 2018, somewhere around there. Yeah, three, four years ago. Yeah, with these wonderful uh, uh, concept art. We have nothing that looks like that in this game. Is there an Odyssey concept art where it looked like an SRV driving through snow? Or something yeah. Like that? Was that Odyssey? That's what we're talking. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, well, there was the, there was the concept art from the original Ice Planet, and they've kind of revised it a few times. And then when they l- launched Odyssey, there was, or when they announced Odyssey, there was a... Uh, Marketing or something like that. Right, right. Uh, that's the one you're talking about. Yeah. Um, this looks like an actual screenshot. Right. Well, this, even, even if it's not, you don't put concept art on the page for a live game. Why well, your FDev. this is a situation where on the Steam Store page, there's a screenshot, number 14 of 17, and it's all labeled screenshots. And supposedly on the website, there's or on the store, Steam page, this is where you're supposed to be able to see what the game looks like or can look like. And I have not seen a planet that looks like this i have not seen any screenshots on reddit or on the forums that look like this nobody in our we have a whole channel devoted to screenshots that i check every day and i have not seen a planet that looks like this so uh f dev where the hell is this planet somebody tell me where this thing is because i want to go there if it's fifty thousand light years away i'll go i want to go there because i don't think it exists off in another galaxy exactly um i i am looking at a uh, screenshot number 11 where they have this beautiful atmosphere in this crater planet in this uh cobra mark three i believe orbiting it and i have not seen anything that looks close to that close to that detail i've seen some things that look kind of but not like not to that detail where's this at so this is what I'm saying. They've let me down enough where I'm at a point where I need a roadmap from you guys. For me to continue supporting this game, I need to know where, what your plan is. I need to know you have a plan because it doesn't like, feel like it. B- beyond the technical things like fixing, fixing right. bugs and optimization, right. that's stuff I, that has to be done. Right. right. I, I don't the, need a roadmap for bug fixes. The bug fixes are going to come. I need a roadmap for where the game is going. Right. The bug fixes, we all know that's coming. We all know, like, it, it might take them a year, but they're going to fix it. Uh, or at least fix the majority of it. Uh, so, I'm talking about... If they want to do this whole new road of honesty and come forward, just announce that the original stuff, anything Braben said back during Kickstarter, day, Kickstarter days... That's off the table. That's pie in the sky stuff. And let us know that you're working on a new roadmap. Even if you don't give us the new roadmap, at least tell us that there is a roadmap with a vision for the game. Right now, when we're seeing, you know, talk about putting ship interiors in would be impossible. It's hard work. And I I think that's a dog shit excuse for not putting something in the game as saying that, you know, development is hard because they're a billion dollar company who's promising a game and they end up putting out this alpha release of a game that we paid for. And now we're testing 164 fixes today on the patch today. That's, Mm -hmm. that's just ridiculous. That's not a live game. That is an alpha, which if they don't put it out as an alpha, I'd be fine, but they didn't. But tell us that, you know, it's embarrassing that we can watch the clips of Brave and talking about, we've designed the ships with interiors in mind. We're building the game with that in mind. And now coming now, seven years later and saying, well, that's really hard to do. We can't just add that at this point. We were told that it was 
in there from the beginning. So I just reverse that bullshit first, just a little bit of honesty there, and and then we can move on. Well, let me also say this real quick, and I'm gonna shut up about it. I'll let you guys talk. Um, I don't want to hear excuses that this is hard or this is a lot of work or um, uh, uh, it, uh, it's there's a lot of work involved in this. We all know building a video game takes a lot, a lot of work. We all know that, especially uh, the scale at which this game is developed at, takes a lot of work, takes a lot of time. That being said, um, I am very much a non-supporter of Hello Games and No Man's Sky. And uh, I'm a big believer that Sean Murray is a lying piece of shit. And um, he got on, uh, I believe, Jimmy Kimmel and lied to the world. And I couldn't get my money back for No Man's Sky because of the crappy launch they did there. But let me say this. They launched that game with, they made that game with 12 people. They launched that game with 12 people, hired about 10, 20 more, and then have released nine, I think it's nine major content patches for free. For free. They fully support VR. They fully support base building. They fully support deconstructing their planets and be able to dig down in, inside of them. They have a complete ecosystem of their uh, planets that they build and the life forms on them. They have snow. They have ice. They have weather. They have geological formations. They have a living ship that you can be on. They have space stations you can walk around. They have full-blown multiplayer and they did this with a fraction of the team that FDev has working on Elite. Don't bullshit me and tell me it's hard or it takes time or it takes money because you have more money than what Hello Games had at launch. You have more money than what you have more time than what Hello Games had with No Man's Sky and its launch. No Man's Sky has been out for two, three years now. And they have all these things. Oh, and by the way, they just got to doing a great big graphics update to their game. It looks beautiful. It looks great. Yes. And, and you know what? Me and a buddy of mine, we're able to play together and build a base together. Yeah. We can do it. It works. The flight mechanics are dog shit. Don't get me wrong. The flight mechanics are complete dog shit. And the universe doesn't like the solar systems don't don't really work like like I think like like yeah. real Newtonian physics. Kind of a different game, but, but yeah, I get that. You're, but it just works. But it works. So don't tell me that it can't be done because it sure as hell can. They just they're they're doing it at the absolute cheapest possible way to do it because actually I don't even know why because it I don't even know why. Because it just, I need to know what their plan is. I need to know, I need a roadmap. I need to know we're planning to do this in a year. We're planning to do this in a year. And we don't need all the details. We don't need to know all how all the pudding's made or anything like that. We just need the broad strokes. We need to know that you guys have a plan because it doesn't feel like you have a plan. Honestly, I, I don't even need a timeline. Just tell me what your, that development is still occurring and you have a plan you know we still want to do this at some point at some point because i i i play you know i get stuck in one game pretty heavily and i love this game if i just knew that they were bringing some stuff down the line don't over promise just let us know what's happening i mean i, I marvel that this game exists you know a one-to-one -one represent representation of the Milky Way Galaxy. It boggles my mind. That's one of three reasons I still play this game. The fact mm -hmm. that it's it's 
a representation of our galaxy, which makes it super cool to fly in. Number two, the flight model. That uh, I just love flying my damn spaceship. That's why I was never a mm-hmm. fan of space legs to begin with. Because, well, what does that have to do with me flying my spaceship? Well, you know, whatever. Hopefully, it adds something cool to the game. And then third thing is the community. If it wasn't for the people in our Discord and the people you know that I hang out with on a regular basis. I don't know if the other two would be enough to keep me playing this game uh, going forward because uh, the community, I, I enjoy the people I hang out with. Um, and it kills me that, you know, they, the other, you know, you were complaining about the VR being cut, which I fully understand. I'm a VR player about a quarter of the time. I play mostly on flat screen now. So I, what I hate about them pulling VR to hit that real quick is is that it's something that's in the game and it's another dog shit argument well it's such a s- small percentage of the community that plays that i don't care i don't do power play that's a small percentage but i would be pissed if they took that out of the game why take anything that was already in the game out that's that's what i hate people paid for a game expecting to do certain things and to not have it or to remove it at a late time like this is annoying but the, like the community part of it you know coming out and saying you know, there are no plans for crossplay. Well, fuck that. That's just stupid. You want to have a giant community and a living galaxy and let us all play together. Not only did they, you know, now say that crossplay is not on the roadmap, they even divided up like I, I'm a CQC junkie and they split that into two separate things. So now there's, you know, Xbox, PC, Horizons and odyssey all playing separate cqc so you're trying to get a match and you've divided up the number of people you can try to find into all these different camps that's annoying that's that that right there would help this community so much that taking away ship interiors i know you guys covered some of this stuff last week but i i wasn't here no ship interiors the argument what gameplay does it add there's lots of shit that doesn't add a ton of gameplay but it's just super cool and being that this was a spaceship game not being able to see inside my spaceship like one of the biggest things when they added said space legs is going in i'm like oh my god i'll finally be able to walk around my spaceship the other side of it is if you want to once again add community and multiplayer and multi-crew stuff people helping each other out on their ships being a gunner like a legit gunner on somebody's ship being an engineer on somebody's ship having to run back fix your thing evas coming out and saying that that's not going to be a thing that's another part of ship interiors that would have been badass boarding somebody's ship shooting them in the head and taking it you know all of these things are just it was just piling on in the last week and a half after this horrible horrible launch i mean right now the reviews on steam it's a 31 percent of the reviews are positive so two out of three people have more than two out of three people have nothing good to say about this game right now. So I, I just, it makes me sad. I'm, I'm upset because I play this, you know, I love this game. I love the community. I loved where it was going, was looking forward to certain things. And a lot of them we were hoping would be part of this expansion. And now not only are they not part of this expansion, we're told they're not on the roadmap at all. It's just, wow. it's frustrating. It's, uh, seizure inducing so uh, that's where i'm standing uh, you know it's uh, you know trying to do a show on a game you love is easy being on a show you know to talk about it once a week on a show where all of a sudden you just uh, are pissed is hard and i know dubs has had a lot of good luck date has had a good luck playing the game and i i understand that i can go in there and i can play it it's it's playable we've got bugs there's things like that i could go run these on foot missions and stuff but i it's not even fun for me and i've said in the past if if you're not having fun do something else so eh, i don't know i don't know i'm still gonna fly my ship but it has me looking at you know like uh, i'm gonna say that the s word star citizen i'm considering i've you know they were a shit show for a long long time now you know they've they've continued to develop continued to develop and they're at the point where you know it's it's actually a functional game and their flight model is it's not only dangerous i've heard it's close um uh you know it's not no man's sky bad but then i lose you know the one-to-one galaxy and stuff like that but i'm seriously seriously considering that i think this launch 
has sold a lot of copies of Star Citizen. Yeah. And that's the end of my current rant. Dubs, you want to go next or you want to save data? Uh, I mean, I don't have nearly as much to say as you guys because I guess I just don't get upset easy. And I guess if I was more serious into VR, I would be more upset. But playing on flat screen, uh, the only complaints I would have is that they, you know, cut a lot of the things that were said in the past would be, you know, part of the plan. And not knowing what the future plans are, that's pretty trash. You know, them just being like, yeah, y'all, y'all don't need any information. Just buy the game. I guess that's that's a little annoying. I guess I don't have much to say in their defense other than it's working for me. <laughs> <laughs> what what currently exists is operating at not optimal but playable levels. But that yeah, I don't have any I don't have any major gripes or complaints. I don't have any things to go on about like y'all do. So I'll let the next right, person how, take how, it. How much have you played Elite now compared to before Odyssey launched? More or less. <laughs> Probably about half as much. Okay. Because yeah, I've been, you know, playing the shit out of other games. So yes, yes. But if Odyssey had launched, it was awesome. I wouldn't be playing other games right now. That yeah. is true. Nurgle, or I'm, uh, I'm, I'm saving Nurgle for last. Okay, just FYI. No pressure. <laughs> uh, Data, you want to go, buddy? You got, you got to, you want to chime in? I, I'm overall positive too. I I view like uh, quote unquote promises made back during the Kickstarter days as the guy who was like leading a company who had had a dream and had some vision for what he wanted, but he was also trying to raise money for his company to make this game, and that was a long long time ago. I don't think about I don't think about those promises too much. Yeah, I've been I've been having fun with Odyssey and they they're continuing to work on it. Definitely you know, having any hopes of VR on foot, real VR on foot is a bummer. Especially for people who, you know, have spent a lot of money and use Elite as their VR you know, oasis or whatever. Um, something that's tough for me to empathize with because I, I have never taken that plunge. I'm kind of glad that I never did. Now <laughs> I was close. I was close a couple of times, but never, never wanted to spend the money on it. Now, I, now I feel a little bit better about those decisions. Yeah. Well, I have something else I want to say about it, but I'm gonna let Nerd will go. Unless she has some else data, I don't mean to interrupt you, buddy. You're good. I might have, but it's, it's like, like sand through the hourglass. It's yeah, slipping I, out of my mind. I think there's a little bit of lag there, or my brain lagged. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Um, I, I'm all, I'm all for seeing like plans and schedules for content. I would just want to know like what, like what what other like gameplay is going to be supported or brought into this, even. Even generally, like what some hints at what they're not telling us right now about what's going to be in this game. Because if it's just, I mean, you always have exploration. That's like an infinite gameplay loop or whatever. You, know, you could you could go from planet to planet forever, finding cool things. But like for the core core gameplay styles, I would say I don't know core gameplay styles. The stuff that most people do. Y'all think it's probably safe to say most people stay in the bubble and do missions and do combat and do mining and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably like, say this. Yeah. What, what else they have in mind for that? Like, yeah, I want to know what new gameplay they have planned because there's no way that this is it. And there's no way that they plan yeah. on spending the next 10 years doing bug fixes. Yeah. There's got to be more. They can at yeah. least, at a minimum, give us a new toy. Give us a new SRV. Just just make us a little happy. <laughs> give us I, a I new think, ship. I think they're holding any new 
vehicles or ships like that for for once they bring consoles online so they can release it all. Over. You mean you mean the actual release of Odyssey? Yeah. Right I'm not now, even sure we're going right to Right now, we're, we're, in, we're alpha testing till probably right. end of July, and then it'll be beta no, no. testing until console no, no, no. launch. No, we're we're alpha testing until console launch, and that's the beginning of the beta test. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Because yeah. I, um, I got a lot of things going on in my head at the moment, and I'm not really sure where to start. Because... You know, and we we we've covered before how they they lied to us. They flat out lied to us during the alpha. When they were talking, about, oh, it was an early branch, and we got a much more developed thing. You know, we don't have all of these problems. And then, sure enough, they launched it with all of that shit intact. And they launched. I don't even want to call it the minimum viable product because I'm not sure it was even the minimum viable. I agree with that. And uh, you know, they're they're going to fix the bugs that. I, we've talked about that ad infinitum, but I feel like I, I do need to state the actual bugs, the things that are not working, they're knocking them off. You look at today's patch, there was 164 known issues that they checked off the list and they've got solved. That is not the problem. The problem is, one, that they, they launched it in this unplayable state for the most part, that we had to go through all of these fixes in what was supposed to be a live game. And then they have continued to go from lies to, at the very least, not being honest with us about what's going on. And then they turn around and they release that roadmap a couple of weeks ago. And that was a chance. They had an opportunity when they said they were going to release a, release a roadmap for what was coming to kind of clear the air, you know, acknowledge what the problems were, I don't think anybody realistically expected a specific date, but you know this is an issue. This is a short, term. this is a medium term issue. This is a long term issue. They could have put ship interiors on there or something we're not going to address in the near future. You know, they could have gone through the community's concerns, put out that roadmap, and given us an idea of where this is going. And then what did they do? They released the minimum viable roadmap product. And for me, that confirmed that they're a complete mess. I, they don't – I don't want to say they don't know what they're doing because clearly there are plenty of people there who know very well what they're doing. But you know, the, if anybody in the community wasn't pissed off at that half ass effort at a roadmap, I don't think they're playing the same game I'm playing. I, and if that – pertains to anybody you know in the podcast right now i'm sorry but yeah i have played other games that ended up driving me away because the developer continued to lie and try to manipulate the player base for money and i really feel like as my work phone goes off at nine o'clock at night what the hell (laughs) Uh, there's not even supposed to be anybody there so somebody needs to go home. Roadmap, but, roadmap looked to me like somebody Googled, what does a video game roadmap look like? And they exactly. printed it off, and then it's like, okay, now fill in the blanks. And they didn't it, bother to fill in all the blanks. It wasn't even an honest effort. It was, hey, the community wants a roadmap. Throw something out there and placate. And like I said, I've, I have played other video games where developers did this, and they drove off their player base because people got yeah, tired of being was, manipulated and tired of being dealt with. This that was just an XP bug fixes. That was no real yeah, yeah. view yeah. into the future. Yeah, for, for for them to call that a roadmap. And, and here's the thing, um, you know, they they talked a little bit about how they put that together. Uh, I think it was uh, uh, Art who talked about that, how they put that together, where they were just kind of going around from developer desk to developer desk, talking to them. For them to put together like a little plan, a bug fix plan, I was okay with that, looking at that from a bug fix plan point of view. Yeah. And but they, they didn't need a roadmap. They needed five words. We're going to fix bugs. Right. Right. But for them to not, it, it's, you know, I, I think we're ultimately talking about the same thing because like they've let us down so many times. Like, I'm just looking at it like like what we we have the saying where I work. What is good? 
Like, what do we consider to be good? Like, what's our bare minimum good? And if it's not, you know, we all, we different people have different ideas of what's good, just like different people have different ideas of what's clean or whatever, you know, um, or what they can, what they would accept in their own home as being clean. Cause you go to a bunch of different people's houses, like I did for a number of years, um, for work, fixing their computers and shit. You find out that different people have different levels of clean. And you think that you think that that's funny. It's it's not. It's the truth. There's different levels. Oh, it's of absolutely food. the truth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, uh, you you as as a supervisor, you have to say, okay, well, this is what I consider to be good. This is this is what I this is my vision of good. And then you have to give it to your employees and say, this is this is our vision of good. And if we're not meeting this minimum level of good, then we're not doing something right. And if, if if we're going above that, that's fine. But if we're not meeting this, this is bad. And to me, FDEV is not meeting the minimum level. So I go back to this to them and say, okay, is this is this what y'all had envisioned for Odyssey? Because if it's not then please tell us what your vision was so that it's, we can start looking forward to it. It's, it's worse than that because they knew it was not ready for launch and they made the decision to do it anyway. You will never convince me they did not know the state it was in. No. And you will somebody at the corporate headquarters listen to the developers, the coders, the project managers say, these are our issues. We don't think it's ready. And then turned around and said, "We're launching it May nineteenth anyway." Yeah. And, and and if you want to say that uh, maybe the higher ups didn't know how bad it was until the alpha released, I'll buy that because maybe they weren't yeah, playing it. Absolutely. You know. Um, but you would think that they would say, "Okay, well, we need to, we need six more months on this. We need another year on this." And I'm also convinced that the reason why console didn't launch with uh the may 19th launch or may 20th whatever the hell it was uh may 29th launch whatever the hell the date was it was because they saw what happened with cd project red and the fact that to this date uh the game uh can't think of the cyberpunk is still not on the playstation store yeah uh um, there, there was one of two reasons why they did that either one they had to, to cut off the consoles in order to devote enough resources to get something ready for launch or they knew they were not going to get certification on the consoles because of the state it was in yeah and we covered that back when they first announced the domain mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we covered that because that was right after you know the uh, the cyberpunk debacle and everything else. And, and that, that was good speculation. And I, at that time is when I did my boycott on giving them any more money. Yeah. Cause I'd already paid for my, you know, pre-sale and, and all of that. And then they went and did the weird delay that they did. And I, at that point is when I lost most faith in this company and was hoping the release of Odyssey would bring that faith back. And instead it's only deteriorate, deteriorated that, more so i yeah i'm just not a happy camper and i have absolutely no doubt that they would have taken a tremendous amount of flack if they had announced another six month delay i mean they'd have gotten pounded for that i think less than this though <laughs> but it's exactly it would have been less than this and if after six months they had launched a reasonably clean product it would have been hailed as a great success and the right thing to do yeah well, do you guys remember when Odyssey launched and they set a Steam record for most concurrent users online for yes. the game? Not for yes. not for Elite, but for Steam. Yes. They uh I believe the previous game before that was either Grand Theft Auto 5 or uh PUBG. I can't remember which now. They beat that. They had the opportunity. It didn't matter. That means that it didn't matter when this game released. It didn't matter if it released in May or exactly. six months from now or even a year from now. There was a, there was hype. Right. There was enough here. There's enough people who are wanting a game like this and for it to be good that they could have stopped and taken their time. And they've blown all of that. 
Yep. Completely. Completely. Um, I have asked for my money back in this game. And uh, right before the show started, I got an email that said, no, I put in too many hours. Uh, I'm going to try again. Uh, because I'm at a point right now where I want my money back. And I will give them, I gave them $60 for this game. And I want my 60 bucks back or 70 bucks. I can't remember what it is now. Uh, I think it was like 65 and change. Uh, but I want my money back. Because uh, the developers, the not the not the programmers, not the artists, not the community managers, the people who make decisions, the presidents, the vice presidents, the game directors, those guys are not listening. And there's only one way they will listen. Sales. That's it. Absolutely. They're not they, they're not trolling the forums because the people, Art and Zach and guys like that, they're the ones who bring forum information to these meetings and say, hey, here's what's going on. We need to look at this. And someone's going, oh, that's no big deal. We don't really care about ship interiors. We don't really care about VR. It's just like 1% of our whole player base. I mean, they're they're only looking at numbers. So if this is this is like shame me if you want. Here's where I'm at. If you want this to change, talk all you want to on forums is not going to make any difference. Because as loud and well spoken of a voice that Art has, that Zach has, and anybody else I'm not thinking Bruce. of right now, Bruce. Um I can't think of everybody right now because I'm I'm wired up. Um, as as good as they are, they don't have the ear of the bosses, and that's and that's, not, that's, that, that's very obvious in the saying that ship interiors are not on the, on the roadmap. I mean, uh, Obsidian Ant, uh, Don't Earth Astronomy, Elite Week, you know, they all ran polls asking, you know. Do you want ship interiors or not? And 98, 97, yep. 95% of people. So the vast, vast majority of people are like, yes, I want that. I want that. I want that. And it's like, oh, no, we don't, but, but, you know, that doesn't matter. Well, the vast majority of your existing, pot, the hardcore players are the ones going to those exactly. places for their for their stuff. Your, your core players, that's what right. they want. And to say yeah. that it's not important is, right. is just well, sad. It, it may only be 10% of the people who are interested in ship interiors, but those 10% of the people are the people who play the game every day. Yeah, right. The the ten percent of the people are the ninety percent of the people who spend money on all of the paint jobs for the vet. Right. The ten percent of the people that are are you, you get what I'm saying with that. Here's the thing. This is what I understand. Ship interiors, in my opinion, is one of those things where implement it and then uh, microtransaction the hell out of it. You want a green yeah. wall? Pay for the green wall. You want a a purple couch? Pay for the purple couch. Dude, like ma make the ship interiors themselves an arcs purchase for exactly, all I care. Just exactly. get them in the game. My favorite ships, yeah. I'll pay to be in my interior. Yeah. This, this, this could pay for like a whole new wing of Frontier. I'm do, serious. Do, yeah, do a do a yeah. thing where they uh um you know, we're gonna do three ships a year or something. They they don't even have to put all the ships at once. Just start putting some of them out. Have that could, as a roadmap. I don't you care. Could, yeah, you could let the players vote for which ones they wanted to do next. You yeah. could really involve the community. Yeah, yep. they, 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 this is this is what it feels like. If you go back, uh, everybody knows I've been. A, I'm a great big Blizzard guy. You go back to when World of Warcraft started kind of falling apart is when they stopped listening to their players. And a prime example is now I'm not a fan of the uh, Warcraft Classic. I don't like it. Um, that's where you can play as like the old vanilla servers or whatnot. Yeah. But they were saying every BlizzCon, they kept saying, y'all think y'all want this, but y'all don't. Y'all think y'all want this, but y'all don't. And then when they release it, and they lo and behold, 70% of the people who have a subscription to World of Warcraft are only playing on the classic servers. And that, that goes back to what we were saying. Like, uh, it's the core. You're people who play every day, and that's where Warcraft lost it is they kept – 
listening to, I don't want to say care bears. That's probably the wrong term, but the people who weren't hardcore players, you know, and they wanted access to the best loot and they wanted, you know, it's too hard. It, It was all that. And they kept dumbing the game down to where like, sites like elitist jerks for min maxing your character and getting your rotations just perfect that was the hardcore players playing that all the time and then you had you know the the tier below that wanting to get good enough to play with those kind of players but then they made the game to where you didn't have the hardcore players and everybody could get everything and you gotta listen to your your core you can't listen to just the masses yeah wow that sounded elitist of me sorry not sorry a bit anyway so um yeah th- that's I'm, I'm we can talk about this all night but um i'm going to kind of land the plane on this real quick so uh i think i think i'm speaking i think we're all kind of on the same page except for maybe dubs and maybe data yeah uh, screw those guys <laughs> i just i want i want the community managers to keep up what they've started and they're there's been such a backlash to this VR statement. I hope they don't clam up again. Yeah. You know, it, 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 here's the feedback. The, if, keep, if, keep it up. If, if the thing was, Hey, we got to pause development on this for a little bit because we got to work on this. That's fine. I get it. Like I'll, I, I will wait for you to make my video game. I will wait. It's so long as I know you're making it, but it doesn't feel like you're making it anymore. I've waited six years to get this, seven years, whatever long it is. I've waited this long to get this. I will wait another 10 years to get what I want, but I need to know you're working on it, and it doesn't feel like you're working on it anymore. That's what it feels like. Give us hope. Yeah. I agree. Dubs, Data, any last words on this? Uh... Just trying to enjoy the game as it is, but I'll agree that there are some uh, there are some things with the company itself that need to be fixed. Yeah, Dubs, you're up, just too keep, damn nice. Yeah, you, up, you're the yeah. Go ahead, Ada. Keep up the good, or keep up the recent change towards more more clear communication. I'm enjoying the you know the. Or art has stopped stopped with the non answers, or at least is trying to stop with the non answers. Yeah, I like I like that. That's going to cause people pain when they get answers that they. But you guys, like. you guys are both just yeah. too nice. That's that's Plus, fine. We're we're adults. We can handle some not exactly nice answers. Just shoot straight. Look at what some other games have been doing recently with their their quote unquote roadmaps and stuff, and they you know the good, the bad, and the ugly. And most of us understand, yes, game development is hard. We know it. this is taking longer and longer for these games to come out because they're becoming so, so complex. You know, I mean, Jesus, you know, some games, you know, are over 100 gigabytes for a game now on a hard drive. That's insane. And they're just going to keep getting bigger. And when you're talking that many lines of code and, you know, line after line after line. Yes, it's going to get complicated. You're going to have bugs. You're going to have to be debugging. But that's where a company being managed properly is hiring the right people who can fix that shit. And that's what I don't think FDev is doing. I'm not taking a shot. Maybe they just need more people or they need some new people in there. But I, I don't like that, that, you know, it's hard. That's why we can't do it. Just figure it out. That's what, you know, making cutting edge, you know, games is all about. So um, here's here's what I want. Uh, tell your if if you have friends that don't listen to the podcast but but play the game, uh, tell your friends to number one. Uh, I I I think we need to get together as a community, and we need a roadmap. So we need to the only the only way they're going to listen to us is one with our uh, wallets affect their bottom line and two with um, going to their Twitter accounts, going to their community. Don't be a dick. Don't get up there and talk about how you're going to blow them up or anything like that. Don't be a dick. Let's be, let's remember this is a video game, not life and death. 
and they're real. Like, they're real people on the other end of this. Yeah, too. Yeah. It's like and, jobs. And most of the people that who are the face of the company, are, those are the good guys. Those are the guys that we want on our side, and they are more likely like what little bit I have talked to Art and to um, uh, I haven't talked to Zach, but what little bit I've talked to Art, I guarantee you they're on our side and they agree with us. They just like they're they're just community managers. They're not they're not they're not they're not making the decisions on things. So uh, go to go like make your voice heard on the front on the forums on the Twitter. Be nice. Don't be a dick. And if you can get your money back, go get your money back. If you're not enjoying Odyssey, don't wait for it to be better. Go get your money back. Don't buy any more paint jobs. Let them know we're not happy with this. And they need to fix it. That's you know, that's our only way we got a voice. Uh, so I think that we're not really going to have a chick chat because you mentioned that this was pretty much our chick chat. Yes. Um, I think that is actually all the notes here. Um, uh, side note, uh, Starfield was announced. It's supposed to be like Skyrim in space. Uh, supposed to be like a Han Solo simulator is what it's been called. I'm excited about this game. Uh, I like I like Bethesda games for the most part. So and cheese confirmed in it. So yeah, yeah. The cargo hold is full of cheese wheels and watermelons. Yep, yep. So I, I'm kind of excited for that, but who knows? You know when it's like late next year is when it's supposed to come out or something. The actual release date. So add another year to that, yeah. probably. Yeah, it's it's going to be a little bit. Yeah, and that's fine. I don't mind waiting. No, on. It's, do I. Uh, you know, aside from the last couple of Fallout games, uh, Bethesda makes really good games. I'm very happy with her games. I wasn't happy with Fallout Four on the whole. And that Fallout 76 was abysmally bad, but I kind of feel like or I'm kind of hoping they've righted the ship over there at Bethesda. And uh, all the PlayStation people are upset that uh, Starfield will be a Xbox and PC exclusive. Wah. Uh, get a PC. They're the best <laughs> system. I mean, you can't get a video card for one right now, but get a PC. <laughs> yeah. Uh, lastly, um, I'll say this. Uh, take care of your computer. Getting parked right now is difficult. Uh, go dust it out, uh, plug it, you know, during lightning storms, even if you have a, U- a good UPS. Um, voltage, check your power supply. If you don't know, uh, the number one killer of computer parts is shitty voltage. Um, if you don't know how to do that, uh, message me and I will tell you and I'm bring you through things uh, because it's really not that hard to do. Um, but that's all I got. Anything else before we wrap this episode up, gentlemen? So what you're telling me is go to the overclocking options for your graphics card, grab the slider, and go all the way to the right. (laughs) (sighs) Where's that mute for dubs again? (laughs) (laughs) Um, I I, I do want to say that uh, because I have made a bit of a comeback to the community, I've gotten a lot of messages from folks saying, welcome back, glad to see you're back, stuff like that. I haven't had the opportunity to uh, message everybody. Um, so thank you for the people who messaged me and I will get around to it. I promise I am not on discord all the time. I do have it on my phone, but I don't always respond because I still, I can't figure out my notifications. I, I, I've sat down with a little bit. Uh, Teflon was messaging me the other day in D and D chat about something and I missed all of it because notifications didn't work on it. And I don't know what the hell I did. So <laughs> I probably I, I probably need a and probably need a notification tutorial, but <laughs> yeah, do not disturb on all the time. I don't v- Venmo me twenty do- Venmo me twenty dollars and I'll teach you. I don't know what Venmo <laughs> is. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna get him upset again. Don't <laughs> <laughs> don't mention what Venmo you already. you can't Venmo me. What's wrong oh with you? Oh my god! Oh my god. god! Idiot. Chig, do you have a cheese or did I ruin it with the Starfield thing? Oh, no, I, just, I, got, I, got, I, got, the, I got a cheese. I, I put the Starfield thing there because I had seen it and it was cheese confirmed. So that's, yeah, that's, I, that's I actually that. didn't even see that until I scrolled down just now. So, <laughs> so no, no, I got a great cheese. Um, this one has been brought up on Discord a, a few times and I've never bothered to touch it because it's really gross and it's actually illegal to 
manufacture or or eat because it, it's not it, it can be dangerous for your health it's a cheese called kazu martsu it's uh, uh, uh from uh, sardinia uh you know in the mediterranean just off italy there it's a cheese that they uh a pecorino cheese that they cut a hole in the rind and let these cheese flies I like the sound cheese flies. That sounds cool. But yeah, they actually lay their uh, their eggs in it, and this cheese gets full of maggots. And the maggot excretions, you know, break down the proteins or something in the cheese and give it a very interesting taste. I guess um, it's like I said in in Europe and and stuff. It's it's not even legal to to produce, but I, apparently there's a black market for it, and like. Tons of it are made every year. Let me see, where is it? Like a hundred tons a year are are made of this cheese and sold. I think so, it just forms coincidentally in a dumpster. I think they count that hundred yeah. tons. <laughs> maybe maybe because I, I don't. I've always said I would eat any cheese. This one's oh, no. kind of scary. And I actually found That's, like uh, this is the best quote on one website I saw about this cheese. Just make sure to cover your eyes while eating kazu marzu because the maggots can leap up to six inches off the cheese. Oh. On that note, stay cheesy, everybody. Oh. They can Water. leap the Ugh. actual fuck. That's an analogy Why? for what Odyssey is right now. Why? I'm going to say something. Oh. I will. <laughs> I'm going to say something I never thought I would say about cheese. That's nasty. <laughs> That's I, nasty. I don't eat maggot cheese, people. Yeah. That's what I'll say. Don't. <laughs> Just say I don't. No. It's against the law. <clears throat> I don't care. <sighs> it seems about once every month or two months, somebody will post that in Chick Chat for me to remind me that it exists, and then I try to pretend that it doesn't exist. So, in the current state of things, I figured it's a good time to bring that cheese out as the cheese of the week. God, no. <laughs> You're um, welcome. Ugh. Our, our Sweet uh, dreams, everybody. <laughs> if you don't know, our Discord is discord.io slash loose screws. You can always find us there. You can message me if you want to. You can message Chig if you want to about his nasty ass cheese. <laughs> God. Uh, you That's can where message. All the, real, the real fun, chill hangouts are. Usually, we're not talking about maggot cheese, just <laughs> chilling. No, uh, usually games. Dub's posting worse than that. Y- yeah. yeah. Uh, we. <sighs> We've had a few new people recently join who uh, messaged uh, me kind of early on because I think I found them on Reddit. And a uh, little heads up, uh, we're not always on. Uh, we have, I feel like we pretty much always have people on or about the game, but they're not always in Discord. Um, but if you, your best way, if you need help with something, ask uh, in, uh, what is it, the looking for hot wings or whatever it is. Like, or if you have, if you're looking for somebody to play with, yes. If you just have random questions, posting questions. Thank you. Yeah, I had the English is hard. So, (laughs) (laughs) but it's yeah, we got it. We got a good community. uh, New people joining all the time, and and come have fun with us. We won't bite, but we also play other games in there too. We've got channels dedicated to some other games. So, if you need a break from Odyssey and still want to join our community, come, come play. Um, you can also go to loosecruzindy.com and that is our website there's a little thing on there where you can order uh, t-shirts and stuff like that with the loose screws logo it's kind of cool if you have ideas for loose screw logo type shirts that you want to see like if you want to see a hey guys shirt or something let me know I'll make one up um, and we'll go from there Uh, FYI uh, we don't make money off this We are actually just supporting the website and then paying for stuff like uh, Nitro Boost on the server, which I think we're coming up on, if I'm not mistaken. But Or did somebody boost it and I didn't know? Oh, I don't know. Let me look real quick. I randomly see people doing something. Yeah, I I did too, but I can never keep track of when the hell... Yeah, we're yeah, like a crash little... boosts on a very yeah, regular yeah. basis. Yeah. I'll see in the middle of the night crash upper boosted the server like three times in a row. It's like, whoa. Yeah, there's Thanks, like nine man. people right now that boosted our server. So those that have boosted our server, thank you very much. It's super cool y'all do that. Um and yeah, I don't even dubs 
it lets devs post higher quality disturbing images yes on the NSFW that's channel. important that's important yeah. very important yeah yeah anyway. just a heads up if you come to our, our thing nsfw is really nsfw if you if you, if you might be offended just stay out of that channel if you if, if if you're not easily offended but you're somewhat slightly offended stay out of that channel <laughs> if yeah. you go in that channel and get offended Fuck you. You were warned. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like All it. Right. Fuck, like you. It. Fuck you. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm probably enough to show. Uh, that's all I got. I'm. That's all I got. I'm saying good night. Good night, Grace. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night.